All right, now here we're going to learn our next factoring technique, and this is called the product sum method. So again, as we look through this, let's start from the very beginning. So we have to first of all see if we have any um, common factors that we can pull out of GCF. And in this case, there is no GCF. Then we look to see how many terms we have. Well, there are three terms, but this first coefficient is not a 1 this time. Since it's not a 1, we're going to use the product sum method. And here's how that works. We're going to take the first and the last terms here, just the numbers, which would be 2 and negative 8, and we're going to multiply those together. That would be the product part of the product sum method. So 2 times negative 8 would be negative 16. Now, we're going to find all of our factors of negative 16, which would be, what, 1 and 16, uh, 2 and 8, 4 and 4. Now, one of these combinations is going to give us the middle term, and we need a negative 15. So it looks like 1 and 16 would give us a 15. And it would give us a negative 15 if the 16 was negative and the 1 was positive because plus 1 minus 16 is negative 15. Now we're going to use this to rewrite the middle term. Let me write that out here real quick. We're going to rewrite the middle term with that. So what that means is we're going to rewrite our problem as 2p squared but instead of negative 15p, I'm going to rewrite it using these numbers. I'm going to rewrite it as plus 1p minus 16p, and then our minus 8. Now, how many terms do we have? Well, there are four terms. And according to our factoring rules, if we have four terms, then we factor by grouping. So I'm going to separate uh, these down the middle and look at the first two terms. The first two terms have a p in common. So when I factor that p out, we're left with 2p plus 1. Remember, that's like a reverse distribution. Now, if you'll remember, hopefully you've had time to uh, work some factor by grouping problems and you've gotten much better at that. If you'll remember, we really want to pull something out of these last two terms so that our last factor is the exact same, 2p plus 1. Well, in order to make that happen, we'd have to factor out a negative 8, because negative 8 times 2p is negative 16p, and negative 8 times 1 is negative 8. Now that we've um, factored that, we see that we have a 2p plus 1 in common that we need to now factor out. So when I factor that out of the first term, we're left with a p, and when I factor it out of the second term, we're left with a minus 8. So this is the factorization of this trinomial.